At exactly 749 tonight, the gavel dropped on the veto session at the Vermont State House, ending the one day session with a feeling of success. You look around at what's going on in DC. Negotiations can be tough, but I think this Senate and this administration should be proud of the efforts that they put forth. Both the House and the Senate have passed the revised budget. It came a day after Governor Phil Scott and Democratic House Speaker Mitzi Johnson announced the deal when it comes to the teacher health care plans. If the bill is signed, lawmakers believe it could help the state achieve significant savings. The new plan proposes that school districts cut $13 million in health care costs for school employees by negotiating new contracts. It is a short term plan that would apply until 2019. We've achieved something monumental. For the first time in recent memory, we have constructed and expect to pass a state budget that does not raise taxes and fees. This uh, preferred plan is being used to calculate what school districts could save or spend on health care insurance costs in the second half of FY18. This will generate the $13 million you've heard so much about. If it were a full year, it would generate $26 million. The new deal will avoid a government shutdown. It now goes to the governor's desk to be signed. Meanwhile, a vote on marijuana legalization has been put on hold for now.